collected together four different containers to experiment with this season so that we can, if they're a success, sell them as, as container collections next season. And I'm really excited about them actually. They've been fun to draw together and uh, I only planted them last week and so we need to look at them again in a couple of months' time and see what they're looking at because hopefully then they'll be billowing over the sides of the pot. So, so they're very freshly planted now and aren't looking as good as they will. But I still think they look good. So the first one is a, a pink collection. Um, so a pink pot collection. And so I've got this lovely Nicotiana called Whisper Mix in the middle to give height. And the brilliant thing about this Nicotiana is this tobacco flower is newly bred and it's incredibly disease resistant because there's so many of the tobacco flowers that get mildew and mosaic virus and this one just doesn't. And so honestly it goes on flowering and for five or six months so it's a wonderful thing for pots. And then, not yet um, established really very well, is this new Gaura, uh, which is a lovely deep pink one, or, you know, darker pink than the normal creamy whitey one. And that is just beginning to grow now, but that will come up, I hope, sort of, and push through the Nicotiana in a sort of lovely haze. And then to give it a bit of um, a sort of heart to the pot is, I've, I've got this little strawberry zinnia, which is a new variety of zinnia, which again is really well bred um, for our less sunny, slightly greyer skies than a lot of the zinnia. So it's ideally suited to the UK. And I think overall that will flower for four or five months, look good in a prominent position, is very good for the pollinators because, of course, the zinnias and the gara and the tobacco flowers are fantastic for pollinators, stuffed full of nectar and pollen. So overall, um, I, I've got high hopes for that one. And then over here, I've got a white. And uh, this is three plants in this one. And actually, I've just deadheaded one of them, the osteospermum. So you can hardly see that. Um, but that's here, and so that is going to flower around the base. And then hopefully, I've got this white phlox, which is a 21st century, so-called 21st century phlox. And that's um, going to tumble over the sides a little bit. And then, to give height in the middle, I've got good old Cosmos. And this is the container dwarf variety called Sonata. So it won't, you know, a Bipinatus would get to here and would make it a bit top-heavy. But I think that will work really well. And so, again, with both of those, what I'm aiming at is just like when I make a flower arrangement, a hand tied branch or a vase, I always aim to have a heart and a horizon because I think it just makes any kind of collection more interesting. So here I've got a heart and a horizon with both those two. Now to be honest, my favourite of all is this purple one and just three things in it and so I've got um, this wonderful lavender called Martifida and, um, and then uh, cherry ply, the heliotrope which has a wonderful scent of cherry pie, particularly in the evening, that's really strong. So I've just deadheaded that as well, so it's not particularly flowery at the moment. And then this beautiful phlox, again, uh, this in this 21st century series, long flowering, very reliable, puts up with lots of soil and different conditions. So I've got a brilliant for pollinators, all three, fabulous scent and wonderful texture, and, of course, the lovely purple colour. And then finally, over here... I love this one too, which is really sort of crimson magenta collection. And this um, is rather surprising. This really healthy looking um, plant in the middle is actually a pentstemon called Husker Red. And how great is that? It does have white flowers. And I haven't decided I may well actually take away the flowers and just grow it for this beautiful, really healthy, really kind of vigorous looking foliage. And that's the perfect foil to another of the 21st century series um, flocks. And then um, this beautiful uh, first year flowering Sweet William. Uh, it's in the Sweet series. And actually by mistake, annoyingly, I've got crimson and purple in the same pot, so I'm going to need to swap that around. I think, I haven't quite decided. But so again, basically three or four plants. I've got my heart and I've got my horizon. So uh, magenta crimson, Purple, white, and pink. I love them. I think they're going to be brilliant.